Hey everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shear with Fast Track Dental CE, and I gotta tell you, I wanted to show you kind of the neatest little thing that I've uh, just kind of happened upon. A good friend of mine, Rick Ferguson and Renault Gonzalez, they've got this amazing thing that they've been working on, this thing called the Anycubic Photon Printer. Believe it or not, this thing for, what, less than 600 bucks, five to 600 bucks, it's this tiny little compact 3D printer, and they've been working on this thing for a little while, and I said, shoot, Rick knows his stuff, Renault is amazing, they both know their stuff, let me check out this printer and just put it to the test just for fun. So I got this cute little 3D printer, check it out. It's this tiny little 3D printer, I put it right next to the moon ray so you can kind of see the size of it. You know, a lot of times you can't really tell the size of these things when you look at the pictures online, but this thing is petite, super petite. You can see it right next to my um, light carrying box from Nextent, uh, that it, this thing is so small. And what happens is, is, is that I, I was kind of amazed by this cute little printer, and I said, well, okay, it's fun, it's cute, but is it going to work? So here I am. I did just my first 3D print. I went through the calibration, a minor little step. I was a little bit concerned that there was going to be a lot of things involved with this 3D printer about, hey, if it's this cheap, am I going to have to build this thing? No. Came in a little box. I opened it up, put it on the countertop. Am I going to have to use some crazy software or something outside of the box? No. I got their little slicer software that's through the Anycubic. Easy, plug and play. Uploaded the file. Clicked in a little USB key right in here. I just popped it into the back of the 3D printer, you know, turned it on and I clicked print. And I said, shoot, okay, what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna, you know, what do I wanna use this 3D printer for? And I said, you know what, to tell you the truth, what I really wanna put it to the test with is using Nextent resins. So that's exactly what I did. I went ahead and I 3D printed a full arch prosthetics on the Nextent CNB MFH. Downloaded the 3D printing profile that Renault kind of worked on, developed with the help of Rick as well. And um, I just said, if this thing can do this on the first print, it's got incredible promise. So let's go ahead and open it up and see how she did. So I'm going to throw on my gloves here, open up the lid, and see what my first 3D print looks like with the photon. Open the lid, unscrew the little base, and boom. Such an incredible little 3D printer for just a few hundred dollars. Look at the resolution on this print. You can see the clarity of this full arch prosthetics. Just incredible. This tiny little bath with the next dent resin inside of there just grew this 3D printed bridge right out of there. So this is using some incredible resin. Tiny little compact 3D printer, gets closed back up, and then I get moving. And all I have to do is just take this on over to my cleaning station, and just like I would do with any of my other resins, I would just kind of take my little plucker, just my little end, distal end cutter. This is just what, you, what comes in my form labs kit. Come around the corners. Just being careful just not to, you know, just wing it. I don't know, I've never done this before with this printer, so there it goes. Drop right in there. This is the same wash station that I have for my Form 2. Drop it in there and just kind of let it sit. So what I'll do is I'll let it sit, see how she does, bring it to the model, take it to the lab bench, see how it looks, see how it fits. Hey everybody, I went ahead and I cured my uh, photon print uh, from my Nextent uh, uh, CNB MFG in my Nextent curing oven. So let's go ahead and remove all the supports. Come on over. I've got my patient model sitting right here. So here I am, just gonna go ahead and just kind of peel right here and see if I can pop these off. If not, I might have to take a little bit of a disc to this, but let's just see how it works. Looking pretty good there. Okay, looking pretty good there. And then just giving a little bit of a tug. All right, looking really nice there. I will have to take a little bit of a disc to this just before I go ahead and fit it to my model, just because there's a little of these internal supports in a couple spots. So let me go ahead and do that. Come on over here. Okay, cool. And I'm just gonna take one of these just a little kind of red stripe burrs, just kind of touch those little kind of little areas where I had my supports. Okay, looking pretty
pretty good. I'll leave most of the other ones alone just to kind of allow it to get close to fitting on the model. And that's pretty good right there. So let me clean that off. So you can see I didn't really mess too much with the undersurface. I see one tiny little support right in there and hit that just like that. So let's go ahead and fit that to the model. I went ahead and I removed the supports. Moment of truth. And perfect fit. So all I need to do now is just pop in my little uh, tie bases to fit on top of my multi-unit abutments. But take a look here. My Anycubic Photon print fits perfectly on my dental model. So extremely promising. And I got to tell you, I've seen a lot of 3D printers. I've seen a lot of the printers that have come out of smaller countries or ones that don't have a big name brand. And this is very exciting. So I really encourage you, go check out uh, Rick and uh, Renault's courses. Uh, they run an incredible series of 3D printing courses featuring this 3D printer. But I got to just give a shout out to those two guys for really working on developing this printer. It's just really, really incredible. Uh, but stay tuned here, Fast Track Dental CE. Check out some additional videos. I'll show you how to work with some additional other types of 3D prints from a variety of different systems. Look forward to seeing you then.